good afternoon. We're going to give you a few little updates on the garden, but also uh, kind of tell you the main point of this video. Uh, as you can see, the bee yard over there, we've got a few swarm traps uh, up in this tree. I'll kind of show you that right quick before we go any further. Um, we we, we uh, harvested honey. We robbed our honey. But man, our bees are going crazy. We have another one. It looks like they're fishing a swarm, which I'm going to have to get them. Uh, but we've got swarm boxes there. We've got one set up up there. One set up there, one low, one high. But this is what a swarm looks like. It's fisting to leave, and I'm fisting to have to figure out what one will do. Let's see if you can see it. See, you see them all uh, swarming out? They're all leaving, so I gotta figure out where they're going. So I'm gonna watch them right quick and see if we can catch them and see where they're going now. Crazy. I just put a box on here and uh, some more room for them for the queen to lay in, and it's like it didn't help any, so. Hopefully they'll go to this warm box. I see some scout bees up here. So I'm hoping they'll just go there. But I think we're actually catching a swarm. Or I think we're actually losing some bees here. Look. Man. All right. Let's see where they go and we'll kind of go from there. All right, it is the afternoon. We are fixing to move the cows again. You see how good the temporary fence is doing? They won't even cross it. <laughs> they won't even walk over it. You know, uh, the don't tell the cows video. They're too scared of that one. And when I, I can lay the hot wire down, just lay it on the ground when they cross, they won't even step over it. That's how good of the hot wire is done. So I've been real pleased with it. Um, I think that uh, if you're using temporary fencing, there's still some things that, I mean, you know, when you compare it to to permanent fencing. I mean, permanent fencing is better, but sometimes permanent fencing where you're utilizing it or if you're doing a heavy rotational plan or it's not your land or if you're leasing or you're trying to just save money, temporary fencing is, it's got some great, great, great benefits to it. So uh, it's been great for us. It started off kind of shaky. Uh, the first time we had cows, which that was when we really had our bull calf, who was an idiot, um, but it's doing, doing really well. We've been real pleased with it. Um, we're going to go and move it. Look how good the grass looks here. They have cut it down to nothing, which is great. So we're real pleased with that. Uh, not dirt showing, of course, but just a great manicure grass cut with a lot of manure on it. So that's going to be good. It's going to do well. Uh, and look at what we're fixing to move them to. Again, rotational grazing. Great plan. Can you tell how high that grass is? You can see where they've been eating. On that line there so real pleased at how the rotational grazing plan is going uh, all right it's getting late we just finished the last of the paddock so you see heavy heavy grass right here look at this look how deep the boot is right there can you see it i mean it's a good seven eight inch grass of bermuda grass and, and also some bahia too but this is our last paddock i'm gonna kind of get a shot of it uh, don't let anybody tell you you can't have a lot of cows on a little spot as long as you do grass management you can't look how tall this grass is i mean this is well, again my boot just shows that you can easily have it so um we're gonna get the cows moved in here tomorrow um and we're gonna let them enjoy this new new fresh grass uh those three cows have been on pure grass um with no extra they've been purely grass fed really for the last month and a half two months uh, because we've got great summer grass back so i've been really excited about that uh, so i wanted to give you all a quick update after i have sprayed my um tomatoes with water and come back with garlic i um have seen uh very much improvement on the aphids and so as you can see i can turn a lot of these leaves around and there are still some there's some on that so i'm gonna go ahead and smush those um but like this one looks much better this one here looks much better this one here looks much better uh oh i'm not holding the camera right so as you can see they look so much better than they did um so great improvement i'm very happy with that um 
a few days after I sprayed, we had lots and lots of dry weather. So several days after um, we had a really good rain and the rain from above is always much better than um, just regular water hose water. So glad of that, but um, I needed to come out here and do something else. So what I did is this time I got some neem oil, diluted it down with water, come through and sprayed again. And really uh, between that and I feel like I have very active ladybugs out here. Um, and so I feel like between the two, they're doing a great job of keeping the aphids down. Um, lots of green tomatoes. I'm going to see if I can walk y'all through and show y'all some of those. Um, we don't have any red ones yet. There's here, here, a group up here. Lots and lots of green tomatoes. So, very excited. We don't have any red ones yet. Several back here. So that's like half of my first row. Lots of green tomatoes, not many red ones. But I want to walk y'all to the greenhouse. I want to show y'all some of our heirlooms that we have up there because they're pretty cool. So I stopped before I got the green to the greenhouse. I wanted to show you guys these. This is our compost tomatoes, so an update on those. They've grown tremendously. They're beautiful. Some of the most beautiful tomato plants that we have. They've grown so big, absolutely beautiful. So as you can see, they have done really well, so we're very glad of that. Okay, in the greenhouse, and I've picked several to make really bright red ones today. So, probably five or six I picked out of here already. So, as you can see, I still have fall. These are from last August. I still have these that are, I've talked to y'all about these before. These are all still making red tomatoes, y'all. It's amazing. And way taller than me. They're way over my head. I'm 5'2", and they're way over my head. But this is, here's some beautiful ones back here. But here is what I wanted to show you that was the coolest to me. Here is some heirloom. And I don't know what these are called, so I would be lying if I told you. They're like darker in some places and lighter on the other I want to say like some type of tiger stripe, if I'm not mistaken. And these come from M.I. Gardner. Um, so I probably could go back and look those up, but see how the difference in the color is? I mean, just really, really cool. But they're all doing great. I've got some oranges back here. An update on those. Um, getting close to the size of my maybe about half the size of my fist um so super excited about that we've got lots of things still going on in the greenhouse so there's a quick update on that um and i'm gonna run lastly i just want to tell you we are going live tonight we hope that you can join us uh, we're going to talk about some of the updates uh, in the garden but also with our cows uh, with our bees as it's springtime it's just really busy on the homestead so we're excited about it. we hope that you can join us that was the whole really really the whole purpose of this video uh, small updates but we want you to drop your questions uh, that you may have for us in this video so we can answer them tonight please join us for a live ask what you want about our homestead and then uh, uh we'll be glad to answer those happy homesteading y'all